at 71 years old, her comedy proves that funny has no age limit and her incredible journey is a, as a woman is proof that representation matters. Before we speak with her, check out Julia Scotty. So in case you didn't know it, I should tell you that I'm transgender. That's not normal. Then the other side of me is going, that's normal for you. <laughs> to tell us more, please welcome to DBO comedian Julia Scotty. Yeah. How are you? Hey, hey. Julia, we're so happy to have you here. So you didn't I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. Okay, so you didn't under or transition until your late 40s. So at what stage in your life did you realize that you were transgender? Uh, I had always known something was amiss, you know. Uh, it wasn't until I... I got to be my late 40s, almost 50, that uh, my my uh, my ex actually got me to understand what the issue was. So I was about 48 when it finally occurred. Yeah. Wow. I love it. You know, I'm sitting here and I, I just see you at these comedy clubs. I remember Catch a Rising Star I was in Rhode Island for a little while. So I've hit those clubs. So shout That's out. Right. I love my yeah. stand up comics. So I have to ask you, you were married. You were you've been married twice. You have kids. How did your family respond to you coming out as a trans woman? You know, surprisingly, not that well. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see you going there. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they were. No, I um, I was actually separated when I came out to my ex, uh, but I had to tell her because the kids were involved. You know, and I, but I I do a joke in my act about taking her out for dinner to tell her, and she said we have to talk, and she says, "Is it another woman?" And I went, "Well, kind of." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good bit. All right, The Daily Show still doesn't have a host, and you would like to be considered. So let's have a little fun. Huh? We're going to okay. throw some hot topics at you, and you can weigh in. So <clears throat> my, okay. my, my take is usually political. Do any of the Republican candidates have what it takes to beat Donald Trump? What, is it, what are your thoughts? Um, I don't know. Are, are any of the Mussolinis running? <laughs> <laughs> because that's about the only one I think they could put. No one wants to stand up to this guy. Uh, I, I'd run against him. You know, I'd tell him where he's at. <laughs> I thought Christie would have been the only one, but, yeah. um, you know, he's, uh, he, I'm from Jersey, he's from Jersey, so those two know each other. They ought to just have a cage match, just put him, lock him up, and let him <laughs> duke get out. I like that. I'd like to see, yeah, that'd I was, be a good I was way like, to determine I was president. Here, like, what are the ratings on that? <laughs> yeah. People would watch. I'd be into that. Oh, I'd, be, I'd pay for that one. <laughs> More so than the debates, I'm into a cage fight with you guys. Yeah. All right, let's yeah, keep it. I feel bad for, uh, I feel bad for, what's his name, from Florida, the, the, the governor. DeSantis. What a, DeSantis, yeah. What a doofus. Oh my God, what a doofus. <laughs> Why can't this man smile? I it's know. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's let's keep it political, okay? Fellow comedian Roseanne Barr was spotted at Trump's rally during the debates. What your what's your take on her support of Trump? Well, not surprised, but then you have to remember that Roseanne owns a nut farm, um, in, in in the first place. So it's kind of it's kind of fitting. <laughs> she does. A, a yeah, no, real nut farm. Guy. Oh. She, does. she owns a no, she owns a macadamia farm in uh, Hawaii, I think. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. hilarious. Julia, let me ask you just uh, so you can tell our audience where can we see you on stage next? Uh, I'm going on tour with uh, the funny women of a certain age that at Carol Montgomery's uh, we did a showtime special on and there. Uh, you can just go to my website, www.juliascotty.com, and my schedule is always up there, and I'd be more than happy to have you guys come out. I'd love to come oh, out the I way you are. I love that. No. Come to Denver. Yes. And, Julie, let me ask you, for anybody out there who has someone in their life that is struggling with gender identity or themselves, what advice would you give them? Um, follow your heart. I, it's more, more for the parents of... Yes. People, uh, and the families of people. Uh, that's that person that's going through that. It's an incredibly difficult experience. It's a very deeply personal one. And just love them. Just yeah. support them. Just love them. That's all I can tell you because that's the most. If I'd have had more of that in my life, it would have been a lot easier. Mm, beautifully stated. Just love them. Thank you so much for joining us Thanks. today, Julia. DBL Nation, check out her documentary, Julia Scotty, Funny That Way, on Tubi. Also, head over to juliascotty.com for more about her latest projects. Plus, sign her petition <laughs> to host The Daily Show. Yes. yes. Let's make it happen. Put it in the universe. Yes, please. Thank, Thank you again, you. Julia. Congratulations <laughs> on everything.